Earlier today, Michael Avenatti, a nationally known lawyer, was arrested in New York City on two separate federal cases, one out of this district and one out of New York. Information on the New York case will be provided by the U.S. Attorney in Manhattan. I will discuss the California case now. The case was filed in Santa Ana on Friday and was unsealed today. The case is the result of two years of tax collection and investigative efforts by the IRS. The federal criminal complaint charges Mr. Avenatti with wire fraud and bank fraud and contains a series of allegations that paint an ugly picture of lawless conduct and greed. On his Twitter account, Mr. Avenatti describes himself as, quote, attorney, advocate, fighter for good, unquote. But the allegations in this case describe something different. A corrupt lawyer who instead fights for his own selfish interests by misappropriating close to a million dollars that rightfully belonged to one of his clients. The complaint also alleges that Mr. Avenatti obtained bank loans worth millions of dollars through fraud by submitting phony personal income tax returns and other false information to the lending bank. According to the complaint, the tax returns were clearly false because Mr. Avenatti never filed federal income tax returns for the years, years in question and never paid the federal income tax as reflected on those false returns. This was a victory for Stormy Daniels, witnessing Michael Cohen's attorney, Mr. Blakely, and Donald Trump's attorney. In December 2017, Mr. Avenatti negotiated a settlement for a client that involved, involved in an intellectual property dispute. Under the settlement, $1.6 million was due to be paid by January 10, 2018. At a meeting in his law office in Newport Beach, Mr. Avenatti gave the client a bogus settlement agreement that instead listed a later date, March 10, 2018, as the date by which the payment was due. The $1.6 million was wired on January 5th to an account controlled by Mr. Avenatti. Mr. Avenatti then used his client's money to pay expenses for his own coffee business, Global Baristas LLC, which did business as Tully's Coffee, as well as to pay his own personal expenses. Void and not enforceable. And that's one of the things the law requires in a context like this that the defendant submit what is. Lawyers have a sworn duty to obey the law and to protect their clients. Our system of justice depends on it. Mr. Avenatti has breached that duty and violated the principles of honesty and fairness that he claims to uphold. If convicted of these crimes, Mr. Avenatti faces a statutory maximum of 50 years in federal prison. Uh, we developed our case separately, uh, and our case is completely separate. It has nothing to do with the New York case. We just executed the search warrant simultaneously in New York. 